Good morning everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady, hope you're all well. So it's Sunday morning, Winifred's just starting the day by looking out the window, relaxing. I think that's what a lot of us need to do on a Sunday morning. Um, yeah, nice blue sky, bit different to yesterday, look, there's no wind. Yesterday it was so awful out there, but my husband said it's cold, but it's really nice. I love it when you get a bit of blue sky, it makes you feel so much better. So we don't know what we're doing today. Obviously we're gonna test Ruby again to see if she's got rid of the virus yet. James has tested negative so far, bless him. So yeah, good morning everyone. There's my breakfast. So breakfast this morning, we've got brown plates and chopped banana and skimmed milk. Here we go again. It's like grand I'm going to, but I know that I'm not alone. Everybody's like this in life. So Sunday morning bubbles. Good job, clean my pots. It's a cold one this morning. So I've left my pots to soak. I need to now try and sort my hair out. Beautiful day. Oh, so funny when you've had somebody come to your door. It sounds my dog's bonkers. <laughs> Look, you do love each other, really. Do love each other? Hey, oh. That's my husband being really noisy with his jet washer. <laughs> it's very noisy, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, when you find a comfy bed, like it in there? Yeah. It's comfy, isn't it? <laughs> it's very comfy in that bed. We have to laugh because she keeps staring at us. It's really funny. <laughs> You are funny. You've suddenly become very, very funny and very cute. Haven't you? Mm. And you really look at me when I talk to you. It's really kind. Mm. Oh, you're not looking now. Mm. <laughs> Oh, very cute. Oh, right, so the time has come to do another test. Let's hope this one is negative for poor Ruby. Ah, oh, right, this is my lovely Florence, as you all know. So in a minute, I'm going to add in the clip of Naughty Florence at night. You can't believe the difference. So in the day, you can do anything. I can pick her up. I can touch her anywhere. Totally lovely. And then at night time, she turns into this gremlin, and you can't get near her. Like, every time you try and pick her up, she tries to bite you. You're such a diva, aren't you? Hey, and the older you get, the worse you get. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this clip in now and you'll see what she's like when we try and lift her up to get her to bed. She's a nightmare. Right, I'm just going to add this into one of my clips in my vlog. This is to show Florence's dark side. So it's about quarter past ten at night. Obviously you want to kind of get ready for bed and stuff. And they do sleep in the kitchen. Florence doesn't like going to bed at night. And as soon as you try and pick her up, this happens. <laughs> this is pretty scary dark side. <laughs> oh, we've tried all sorts. We try tempting her with treats, um, everything. You literally, after nine o'clock at night, you cannot get near her. Can you hear her growling? Ooh. Hey, come in. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's so, she just gets so angry and so cross. And it, it don't matter what you do. We've tried everything. Giving her treats. Being really sweet to her. <laughs> She's just really scary. And we've tried putting oven gloves on to pick her up. But literally, as soon as you start to lift her off the floor, she will bite you. And it doesn't matter if it's me or my hubby picking her up. Look at a nasty little mouth. Florence, don't be like this. Come on. Come on. It's scary to me. Yeah. <laughs> We're a bit scared of her. Look at her teeth. Oh. So, <laughs> sometimes we have to try and trick her. We've tried everything. You're just a nightmare, aren't you? But we love you so much. Florence. She just don't have none of it. The joys of owning a chihuahua. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> we don't have this problem with Winnie, we can just pick Winnie up. But you're just terrible, aren't you? We love you so much. Look, you can stroke her, but you just can't pick her up. Can we? You don't let us at night, do you? Come on, come on, Winnie. Oh, my hubby's in his element outside washing cars. It's absolutely freezing outside and he's got a t-shirt on. I'm surprised he hasn't got shorts on. He's in his own lot. Ah, so it's negative. It's negative today. Ooh, thank goodness for that. So it's negative today. So we need to test her again tomorrow. If it's negative tomorrow, then she can go back to school Tuesday as long as she feels all right, bless her. Ooh, thank goodness for that. Right, we've got to dinner time. So for dinner today, <laughs> for dinner today we've got uh, mackerel in olive oil, seafood sticks, little tomatoes and a nice cup of coffee in my I love shopping mug which should say I miss shopping <laughs> so we're sat here stroking Winnie oh. just seeing how little he is feel like velvet they're so adorable <laughs> and Florence keeps growling I've no idea why every so often we just hear this uh, it's not even facing Winnie <laughs> I don't know I don't know if she's having a bad dream or what she's very naughty look she just looks like she's fast uh. asleep but then she keeps going uh. <laughs> she's naughty isn't she Winifred oh. She's not cute, is she? She's naughty. <laughs> oh dear. Florence, you having a naughty day? Here I am. I don't think I've been on here yet this morning. Or have I? I can't remember. So here I am. Lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day today. I first of all put on um, a Revolution Matte uh, lipstick, which was a nice sort of pinky nudie colour. And then over the top I've put an Avon Mark Plump It Up Lip Gloss. I really like these because they make your lips tingle. It feels so wonderful. It's just like all like tingly and nice. It's not too much because some you can buy are really tingly and they hurt your, well, they don't hurt your lips, but it's just a bit too intense. This is just a really nice, delicate, like tingle. It's supposed to plump your lips up a bit and it's just lovely. I really like it. So I can definitely recommend this. And I think this is in the color Nude. It's my favourite one. It's really nice. Lipstick of the day. <laughs> Doing my little Instagram photo for my outfit of the day. And my little friend came to join me. You gay winning Fred. <laughs> so, so cute. You're a very good model, aren't you? Hey, are you a good model? I love how you sit. <laughs> you so cute. Oh, you look very professional, don't you? Yeah. Are you professional? <laughs> Right, outfit of the day. So, outfit of the day, I've got on a Zara jumper, which is like a polo neck jumper, and it's covered in like pretty roses and stuff, and I really like the colour of it. So, it complements my Zara trousers very well. Both of them came from the charity shop, the jumper and the trousers. The trousers are like leathery sort of stuff. Um, and then my little boots were from Primark a very, very long time ago. But we love them, they're so nice. We like velvet and they've got little butterflies all over them. And then bag of the day is my Celine mini belt bag because I thought it's very similar to all the pink colours that are in my jumper and stuff. Very cute. And of course, my model of the day. You take the, you know, the star of the show, aren't you, Winifred? My model of the day is Winifred. <laughs> She's so cute. Right, next job. It's James's birthday tomorrow <laughs> obviously i've been nowhere so it was just luck that i did get a few bits before we sort of got hit with the virus and stuff so i haven't even got any wrapping paper it's just so bad so we've got some christmas wrapping paper so um i've asked him if he minds and he says of course he doesn't so i'm gonna wrap his presents up now with some christmas wrapping paper i love that it's so cool <laughs> so that's all my wrapping done so I've decided, I think it'd do maybe some good to have some fresh air. So I'm going to walk the dogs around the block. Look at Winifred. She's sat in the bed the wrong way round, resting her chin on the little crown bit of the bed. <laughs> Is it comfy? We're going to disturb you now, aren't we? Because we're going to make you go for a walk. Are we going to disturb you? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go walkies? Wanna go for a walk? Do you want to go walkies? Go walkies, go around the block. 
Florence is here, Bill. You want to go? You do, don't you? Yeah. I don't think your friend does. Well, we're ready. I've kept uh, Winnie's jumper on because it is cold outside. Are you ready, ladies? We're just waiting for Ruby. Ruby, come on. Right, away we go. Ooh, my husband's washed me go. Very clean and fancy. What's it feel like to have some fresh air, Ruby? Nice. Oh. <laughs> I was just saying to Ruby, you can see how windy it was yesterday. It looks all bits of twigs and stuff all over the path. Wow, it was windy yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, there's no ducks. Are they called? I can't remember what they're called. Oh, is that one sticking his bum in the air again? They're so funny. There was one the other day, Ruby, it was sticking its bottom in the air all the time. It was really funny. Oh, they're so adorable. So peaceful and nice. Oh, it's a bit cold. You okay, my dear? Yeah. Plodding, aren't we? Uh -huh. <laughs> right, we're home. Nice cup of coffee, desperately needed. I'm freezing. Right, so we've got a little treat here with our coffee. So we've opened these lovely Harrods uh, salted caramel shortbread. What's it like, Ruby? Nice. Is it? Yeah. Which lovely Victoria centres in our lovely hamper oh, at Christmas. It's so nice. So I have to enjoy one naughty biscuit. Oh, I think they're one of the best biscuits I've ever eaten. They're so good. We've had to have two. And we're just going to hide them from my husband and James. Well, what we've done, we've said that they can have just one each. And then we've hidden the rest that maybe we can have them again another day. They're so lovely. I wish I could share them with you. They're so nice. Look at the guilt on my dog's faces. They're like, give us a biscuit. <laughs> Not sure what's going off over there. <laughs> a bit of um, a bit of bed making, I think. Are you making your bed? Are you getting comfy so you can look out the window again? Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> right, so next job, it's 20 past three, but what I'm gonna do is start pre-boiling and sort of prepping my veg and stuff uh, to do my little roast dinner. I'm gonna ring my mum at the same time, make sure she's all right. So I've rung my little mum, she's all okay, bless her. She's been watching The Tourist as well that I've been watching and we watched Pottery Throwdown, so she's all ready for watching them tonight. And then Bobble has just arrived home, our lovely little blue tit. So obviously it must be a bit warmer tonight because he's back to the front of the box again, whereas last night he was slept, sleeping at the other end of the box. Bless him, he's just shuffling his wings about, getting himself all fluffed up and comfy. So while I was on the phone to my mum, I multitasked. So I've done some ironing as well. So I've done all my ironing and the dinner's nearly ready. And it's 20 to five. Ooh, ready for my dinner, it smells lovely. Ooh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my dinner. It's that hot, it's steaming the camera up. So we've got that breaded chicken, Brussels, carrots, runner beans, and little round roast taste things. And of course my friend's with me. Not sure where my other friend is, but Florence is here. Ah, uh, we found her. She's under the table. It's like hiding under stuff. Hey, you're a wally, aren't you? <laughs> so, we're not quite sure what's going off with Winifred. She's asleep, sat up, resting her head on the bed. But she's not in the bed. I like your position, Winifred, that's really good. <laughs> I've just sat there and all I could see was this, her little head. Oh, empty plates! So it definitely went down well, it was absolutely delicious. Right, so now we need to get washed up. Oh, right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you.
because tonight, like I said before, I'm off to watch Pottery Throwdown and the last one of the tourists. So many thanks for joining me again today. I hope we've kept you slightly entertained. Thank you so much for everybody's well wishes. You know, for James and Ruby, it's been very, very kind of you. So big hugs to everybody. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my little website is down below if you've got a bag of the day or a mug of the day. And my little Avon shop is also down below, a little Avon shop of magic. It's all down below. If you spend £20, you get free UK delivery straight to your door. So you know how it goes. I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow.